Let's talk about mixing our own pigments and making our own cool scientific makeup discoveries. So what I've been loving lately is actually taking, you got it, a powder shadow, scraping it from the tin, mixing it in with an illuminator to create a really beautiful creamy shadow base. And then on top of that, I put the powder shadow again and then I layer gorgeous, gorgeous galaxy glitter from Face Stockholm. This is one of my favorite things to do lately. I'm just obsessed with it. It creates such a natural, almost transparent eye. As you can see, for this look, I want to keep it really modern. I want the eyes to speak for themselves. So I'm mainly concentrating the coverage of this look in the center of the face. Another really great trick is using your client's hand as your palette. This warms up the pigments and it also lets you see how they oxidize and if they actually match your client's skin. She uses the back of my hand to mix you are ensuring the perfect blend because the warmer the product, the easier it'll sink into the skin. It's better on the skin. It's better on the skin. Because she wants to mix it for my face and so. I want it to be warm. Right. So that's how you match it. Exactly. Uh, the warmer the product, the easier it'll sink into the skin and enmesh with the flesh. My favorite way to make my highlighter even more beautiful and even more natural is actually scraping a powder highlighter. I'll mix it with a little bit of Vaseline and then I'll mix in a NARS hot sand illuminator. I find the highlight blends so much more beautifully when it's creamy and it has a Vaseline base or some kind of liquidy base. And then that way you can actually place it and tap it on the lips. The lips look healthy, but you can't actually detect whether or not the model is wearing a product on her lip and that's really stunning. The final step is setting your makeup with either something transparent or slightly pigmented.